So I'm sure everyone in this room is familiar with the Sudoku puzzles. We have a 9 by 9 grid with some of the entries already filled in, and your goal is to finish filling it in in such a way that in any row, any column, or any of those 3 by 3 sub-blocks, you're going to get the numbers 1 through 9 showing up exactly once. So for most people, you finish up your Sudoku, you close your newspaper, or more realistically, you close your Sudoku app, and move on with your day. But for me, this is where my day begins. For my PhD, I'm studying Latin squares. And, Latin, and Sudokus are a very special type of 9 by 9 Latin squares. Latin squares are very, very structured objects, and they have a lot of structure within them. One of the structures within them are called transversals. So transversal is a selection of n of the entries, such that you've hit each row once, each column once, and each of the symbols once. So the bottom square here has a transversal circled. What I'm interested in, in is finding Latin squares that have lots and lots of transversals within them. When I can find such a square, I can start gluing those transversals together to build objects called mutually orthogonal Latin squares, or moles. Now these moles are used all over the place. They're used in quantum information theory, in statistical analysis, in experimental design, but my favorite is in coding theory. So let's say that I want to send you a message. Well, that's pretty easy nowadays, so let's up the stake a little bit. Let's say that I'm on New Horizons, and I want to send a message from Pluto back down to Earth. Well, sending messages in space is actually quite difficult. There's a lot of noise that happens along the way. So as I send the message, some bits can flip from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. So we can't actually be sure when we get the message back that it's the correct one. What we can do is use these mutually orthogonal Latin squares to encode the message on New Horizons and send that new encoded message back to Earth. Now, what's great about this is that when the message gets back to Earth, we can look at it and we can say, hey, an error occurred. But what's even more magical about it is that not only can we check that an error occurred, we can fix it. So as the world is getting more and more technologically advanced and we need to send more and more messages across noisier and noisier channels, we need methods such as these mutual orthogonal Latin squares to encode our messages in such a way that we can read them and check for errors. So the next time you're on the train, you finished up your Sudoku, your phone's dead because you've been catching too many Pokemon, see how many transversals you can find. I bet you there's at least 68. Thank you. Thank you.